know, you have raised a very important issue, Mubha. It is about recruiting the right people. It begins from there. If you are taking somebody who does not have an aptitude for customer service and ask him to do customer service, he will never be able to do it. And after all, we are not running by dictatorship. You know what? The challenge is how much importance is being given to this by the senior most people who are leading the team. They don't perhaps realize their role in customer satisfaction. Everybody believes customer satisfaction is the headache of the people who are facing them in the yeah, centers yeah. and we hardly have any role. Mm -hmm. And that orientation once we can bring in, I for example always mention that Indigo flies on time not because of the pilots but mm -hmm. because of the ground staff. Because they make it sure that the plane gets loaded on time to take off. Because once it takes off, there is unlikely that there will be a traffic jam midway. There could be a traffic jam while landing because of a busy airport. So, you know, that seamless alignment. There is also another aspect that one has to consider in case of Indigo. Yes. Indigo timings are invariably 10 minutes more than other flights. Right. So, they fly on time even if they are 10 minutes late. Even then they are considered flying on time. Yes, because that's the image so they have built. That is the image that they built. Yes, in fact, that was the point I wanted to raise. That yes, is Indigo was late by 30 minutes. But <laughs> telling in landing is, being on time is a wonderful thing. Absolutely. From Hanabha so, to That encompasses the foresight to... That, that was a strategy. Of the, the no, no, the strategy is like between the Indigo channels. Alright. You know, there is a time in which the aircraft fly. Let's say from early morning, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, till let's say midnight. So let's say they can take 10 sectors. Actually they have done 9. And that one sector time they have put it across the district. So what have they done? They have sacrificed one landing. Yes. But created such a positive impression that their load is always higher than the others. So this is all about strategy. It's all about that uh, uh, determination to deliver a promise. All right. Shall we move to customers? Yes. Okay. This is... We have heard about brand valuations, right? Globally, Coca-Cola is supposed to be the highest yes. value yes. brand. Yes. This data is from Harvard Business School. Okay. It shows that on a study from 2003 to 2013, there is a decline in pure brand valuations by over 20% and there is a 100% increase in value of customer relationships over a decade which means that those brands who have acquired more customers, retained more customers, nurtured more customers have had a higher uh, brand valuation than where it has only been brand, 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 brand. Which, if you see, what is the game plan of our e-commerce sites? Are they making money? <coughs> Why are PE investors putting in so much money? Everybody is all about getting more customers. So today, there is a substantial increment in the value associated with the customer. So let's say there are two competitors, Flipkart and, what is the other one? Amazon. 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 Snapchat. Alright? Flipkart has got 100 customers, Snapdeal has got let's say 105 customers. But data analytics says that 100 and out of the 100 customers, 80 people are repeat customers in Flipkart. Whereas out of the 105 customers, 30 customers are repeat customers. Flipkart's valuation could perhaps be more than Snapdeal. That is the matrix. How attached is your customer to your brand? is more valuable than just having more number of customers. So which means that the focus is shifting or rather brands are looking more at customer experience to build their brands, retaining customers, 
making them to do repeat purchase in order to improving the brand value diagonalization. Okay? You must read this article, we see. Alright. This is very important. We know it, but I think it is just endorsing what we are thinking about. First of all, customer centric approach. Nowadays what we do is, we think from inside out. We sit in the conference room and we believe this will be appreciated by the customer. And we try that. Customer is at the center. We are here to serve the customer. That is inevitable and incorrect. First point. If we can do that, we can look at substantial to phenomenal growth, whichever brand has done it has done so. It creates value for all stakeholders. The challenges that we need to look at, how do we keep up with technology? for keeping the customer at the center. For example, what we intend to do is we have already done an ideas app. Okay. Those of you who are participating in this course, we will request you to download the app on your mobile. So through that app, we can create a lot of connect which could be useful for you for the sessions that you are attending. In terms of scheduling of sessions, in terms of key reminders, in terms of any important notices, in terms of pushing through anything which is important for you to remember from the last session, etc. Today I have posted in the WhatsApp group over restructuring. Right? If you've seen, I don't know if you've seen. Move on, you have written about, somebody has written about logo, identity. So on that server was saying something, yeah. I have said there is some session on restructuring, we talk of restructuring. Okay. What it essentially means is that in a journey of a brand, you need to know when to restructure the brand. For example, we have been discussing in ICA that the content, course content of CIA needs to be reprinted. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Do we need to introduce any other course? to attract a different target audience? Do we need to see, because we are operating at the bottom of the pyramid, do we need to see that we need something on the top of the pyramid? Am I right or wrong? Should we relook our logo? Today CIA has become more better known than ICA. So these are all the questions which come under restructuring. And the final is, the word is intensive. Innovation cannot be once in a while thing. It has to be intense innovation. In fact, I am talking to somebody who has developed an IT solution. You know the person, Ramesh Srinivas. And I am inviting him.